Um, other things you need to be uh, uh, aware of on ascent is uh, if you find your ears are uh, clearing slowly or one is clearing faster than the other, which can sometimes be really uh, uh, aggravating. Uh, density is being reduced nicely and you can't hold in that uh, water vapor. And of course, here in Houston, Texas, uh, we have a lot lots of water vapor under normal conditions and uh, just on the other side of the wall here is six and a half million gallons of water. That's what we do here. We fog things up. Note the two gloves. Yeah. All right, we're at 10,000 feet. Uh, 10,000 feet, you need supplemental oxygen. You, know, you can uh, keep your wits about you long enough to get over that mountain, okay, instead of staying at 10,000 feet and flying into the side of it. That and let's see, we're at 15,000 feet. At 16,500 feet, that wet gas inside of you will have expanded twice what it was at ground level. Hold the mask to your face when you do that, please. Yeah, I'll have everybody do it. We'll start the clock out here. Mask, just drop it. And don't look at that, don't look at that clipboard. Put the pencil down, put the pencil down, put it back. Don't touch it. What you need to do is I want you to look around. Okay, I want you to look at the people across from you. Uh, look at the color charts, look at the ones on the console there, you can look at the ones across from you too. With it. And what I'm doing is I'm just sitting here talking and letting you guys kind of look around, look at things, and uh, I'm wasting a minute of your time off oxygen. We're going to stay off oxygen for no more than five minutes. Okay, now, let's see, who have a uh, number five? I don't think I've chatted with you yet, have I? Okay. When you go back on oxygen, what are you going to have to do to go back on oxygen? Put it back up to oxygen the mask on. That's right. You're going to have to turn your regulator. You let go of the thing. You're going to have to turn your regulator on. Okay. Okay. We're at a minute and a half. Go ahead and over on the left-hand side of that sheet of paper, look at the one-minute mark, and write down any symptoms you may have in that one-minute to two-minute range. Any symptoms of hypoxia. Anything out of the that's not normal for you. Back on oxygen, as we discussed, all three switches up. The other thing you're going to have to do is put that mask to the face, okay? Doesn't do you any good to have the regulator running and spewing out oxygen all over the place if you don't have it up to your face where you can breathe it in. Do we, are any of you uh, 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 physics teachers? And number seven. Number seven, come across intercom when you get done writing the stuff down. Tell me what kind of symptoms. I'm okay. You're okay. I'm okay. Okay. How's your thought process, number seven? It's not quite as good as it usually is. Okay. This is kind of usually is. Okay. Along the side, you can see him. Don't crank your eyes over to the right or left to look at him. You can't turn your head to look at him. That's cheap. Your pencil touching the paper? Okay, well, we got 20 seconds, we'll hit the five minute mark. What I'd like all of you to do is take that pencil and put it back underneath the little clip on the clipboard. Face all three switches up. Basically, do it at the same time. Hold that mask up now. Watch your rate and depth of breathing. Don't go, and don't worry about trying to slide that the bayonet receiver back in. Sharon Seven's out of it. All right. Can I get a thumbs up from all my odd numbered seated people if you're doing okie dokie? All right, everybody's doing okie dokie. Glad to see it. One hand, release with the other, please. And if you need help, just wave to the inside observers that come around and help you. Ask everybody. And what I want you to do is look around. Look around. Okay, y'all saw the odd number of people, how they uh, were. Uh, off oxygen. Uh, okay, now what you need to do is concentrate on those subjective symptoms. And there's a whole list, long list of them, and it runs into the hundreds. In fact, I'm still hearing new symptoms. Turn your regulator off. And Chuck, is number number 14, have you been switched over? Okay, so you're on that, you'll be on the narrow panel now for the rest of the chamber flight. We don't need to worry about denitrogenation anymore, folks. On the green switch and put my mask on.
and the red toggle switch also needs to go all the way up yeah, already. And uh, you can go ahead and start working that sheet. Don't become too upset. Uh, but if you're getting uh, two or three good symptoms, that's when you should go back on oxygen. I'm not expecting him to go under. We're keeping a close eye on him. Uh, but if you're starting to feel those, go back on oxygen. How's your thought process doing, number uh, eight? It's doing okay. I'm just dry. Okay. Write down any symptoms you may have. And of course, if you don't have any symptoms, just write none. Just write none. See how your vision might have been affected. I uh, noticed some of you were doing the uh, checking your peripheral vision. Anybody got tunneling? Anybody notice any tunneling of their vision? How about you, number four? How are you doing? What are you noticing? Just, uh, tunnel vision. Tunnel vision, and I uh, can't remember the president's. Are getting close to four minutes. Start thinking about what hypoxia symptoms you may have. And uh, go ahead and write those down at that four minute area. I don't blame you. Uh, the guy down there that's supposed to take care of you, he's not like me, retired Air Force. He's retired Navy. Trained by the Air Force, though. Fine, a little slow, it sounds like. Uh, did you notice that you uh, were starting to nod there on me? You were nodding. And uh, then put those pencils back on the clipboard, and everybody go back on oxygen. Go ahead. All three switches up, mass in the face. And uh, get your mask hooked up and drop that red toggle switch down to the normal oxygen setting. Everybody. And inside, when they've done those two things, let me know, please. Right. Okay. One last time before we start a descent, I want everybody to go for your nose, except for your number 14. Uh, go ahead and loosen your mask and just hold it up to your face. Yeah. I was kind of like, yeah. he said say anything if there's pain, but I don't think that's what they were referring to.